Greg, what time is it? It's peanut butter peanut jelly butter time. Peanut butter jelly time. Reaction. Oh, it ain't even reaction video time. It's like it's just answering questions. Answering questions the video. time. Peanut butters time. <laughs> butter gel. Peanut butter gel. Peanut butter gel. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so today, Greg, it's this extra special uh, video that we're doing. Oh, yeah? Because... I did a video about things that were brainwashed about India. I watched it, I reacted to it. A lot of the stuff I knew it was like just, you know, what's the word? What's the word? I don't even know what you're talking Fallacies, about. Fallacies, like just, okay, so. you know, just like you hear one thing that happens in India and now you think everybody does it, right? So there's plenty of that about America from there's, their end. Yeah, or even questions about America that they had. So I said, I'm going to make a special video. Y'all send me questions, and we'll answer them for you. That sounds like worse. Now, first question is from Rupam. Rupam? Rupam. Hi, Rupam. And he says, is America a country of wealth and only wealth? Like, that? that's what they want to know, is they think that America is a country of wealth and only wealth. Well, you know, they, they get it spin like, oh, America's the richest country in the world, that sort of thing. But we know how in debt this country really is to so many other True. countries. True. Um, it's kind our, of ridiculous. What is it? Our deficit? Our just the, Trillions. So if you want to just look at the government part of America, we're in so much debt to other countries, yeah. to like China and all those kind of stuff. Just Yeah. But what and about like... And it just keeps like, going up like every year. And... But it, what if they're asking, like, from the everyday people? They think this, everybody that lives here has pretty no. much got it made wealthy. No, I mean, it's probably like most other countries. I think the top 5% of all the wealthiest people in this country have more wealth than the bottom 95% combined. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of middle class people here we in this a, country. We probably have a very large middle class compared yeah. to other countries. Because we'll have, like, a, a poor you know, poor, mm -hmm. you know, air people. We have poor people. I mean, we have people that are homeless, people yeah. that live on the streets, people that barely make it, people that are hungry. You but know, there's, there's a lot of those. I think most people in this country, surprisingly, even the middle class would struggle if they missed a paycheck or two. They kind well, of live paycheck to paycheck. They rely on every check yeah. to take care of. You know, mortgages and car payments and, and things like that. And a lot of people like in the middle class are in debt. Like, I mean, we are. Most we people buy, are. We buy our house and it takes 30 years to pay off. Yeah. Everybody finances everything. Mm -hmm. Everything's on credit and they pay it off over time. Yeah. So they end up paying more in interest than the actual principal. Yeah. And so, so the those banks, companies, all the banks are wealthy. The banks are wealthy. <laughs> That's what makes the rich. But, but the rest of us Americans were just, are just struggling. Although, like even the middle class. So there's like rich. There's rich. There's poor. But middle class. There's different degrees. I think even there's the middle lower. Class. There's, there's working there's, poor. There's upper middle class mm -hmm. where you have disposable income. You wouldn't consider yourself rich like millionaires. Well, where would you think we fall in? I'd say that we're. In the middle class. Like middle middle? Probably getting close to that. I mean, if you look at the no median way. income. Well, I would say, let's show them like, I'm going to show them little videos of like our house and our neighborhood. So this is what our neighborhood looks like. All the houses around, a lot of cars. And this is our house here. This is our house. Now, like I said about the cars, everybody has a car here. But as you can see, everything's so spread out. And there's no public transportation around, so everybody has to drive. So usually, you have two cars per family. One for the husband and one for the wife to travel around and uh, get places. Because, yeah, no public, re public transportation, except right in the city part. So here is my house. When you walk in, you have like the living room part where people sit on the computer, watch your TV. And we have a fireplace. Cause like we said, here it gets, we have all seasons. So in the summer, really hot. In the winter, 
really cold and it snows, so a fireplace is really helpful. Then over here is connected in our kitchen. Here's the kitchen, you can eat at the bar there. Here's the refrigerator, oven, and then the stove and oven. We can bake and cook on there. And dishwasher, we talked about before, put dishes in and it cleans the dishes. And here's the bedroom where we sleep and then connected, we have the bathroom, which is the tub, toilet and a shower right there. The bathroom is my favorite part of the house. Like this is the fanciest bathroom I ever had. And I pretty much wanted this house for it. It even has curtains or blinds and has a view to our backyard, which we can go look at the backyard. We talked before about the grill or either later on the video where we barbecue and under here is our barbecue pit. Mm -mm. It's kind of dirty, but I don't know if you see it has knobs and things that opens up and you can barbecue food outside and then we have our yard the dog runs out here this is the grass we talked about cutting and then the fence here one thing about in america it is very open and big so with the houses you have a lot of land and space and yards so here's the backyard we live in an area that's middle middle class to upper middle class yes there's some houses in this area that are that much but our house is not yeah. our house is like you said your dad always said buy the worst house in the best Ours neighborhood not the worst house but it's not where we came from we just moved here a year ago where we came from is middle class also a middle class area mm -hmm. and that house i would say is lower middle class to middle middle class now we're in the middle to upper Right. We've upgraded. We've upgraded. But if we you look at other houses in our neighborhood, ours pales in comparison to some of those. Oh. All right. Let's go to the next question. It is from Cal Pitt. Cal Pitt. Cal Pitt wants to know, what meals do we eat? Because all they know, 24-7, <laughs> we eat pizza. Burgers and chicken wings. <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's you're you're right on there, Cal Pit. <laughs> we do eat a lot of pizza. We probably eat pizza at least once a week. But that's our own thing. No, a lot of families do. Yeah. A lot of families pizza eat. Pizza is probably... very popular in America. Burgers, chicken wings. They also think we eat fast food a lot. Some people Some do. Some families do. I think in them here is we stay so busy. I mean we some families get up at six something in the morning go to work all day men and women both both men and women work right and there's they, rarely like the mom stays home with the kids the both the men and women work they'll send the kids to daycares or school and things like that Then there's after school events you got to take them to the dance class to this sport to the that sport. practice so a lot of times <clears throat> americans do eat fast food or out like that because they just don't have time. They don't it's have time to cook. It's, it's quick. Yeah, you don't like fast food mm -hmm. very often. We don't. No. And I don't like it because I like home cooked meals. So we, and we both like to cook. Mm -hmm. So one thing about America though, we are exposed to so many different cultures and that also includes so many different cult their food. Yeah. So we have, we'll, we'll make at home Mexican dishes. Americans love Mexican we food. We make ho at Chinese home. Chinese food, Asian Americanized dishes. versions yeah. of it. We make at home Italian <laughs> dishes. Mm -hmm. People make Indian dishes at they home. Do. Just you thinking know? of things in my fridge. Lasagna I have in there now, you know? We have Asian food in there that we made. This is right. stuff that we made. I made broccoli. Yeah. So here is our fridge open and it has like a, a refrigerator side and a freezer side. And if you would see in the freezer, like we even do have frozen pizzas. These are frozen pizzas that we just heat up. So we have some of that ice creams, pie dishes, you know, a lot of uh, ice cream because I love me some ice cream. So that's the freezer side. And then over here is the refrigerator side, which you have like your milks and your creamers for the coffee, eggs in here. This is our eggs and uh, a lot of leftover, like, so if you see containers like this, it's like leftover foods that we cook. Because this is like containers that took out the fridge. So look at right here. I was talking about like beef and broccoli we made, like an Asian dish. That's homemade food that we made. 
Um, oh, and rice for it. So rice in there. And here's another dish we made, leftovers that we're gonna eat, like a lasagna, a Italian dish lasagna. So that's foods that was in the refrigerator that we had already cooked. And then in the drawers, we have like our cheeses, different cheeses, sliced cheese, shredded, a lot of different cheeses. Breads in here, here's just breads and stuff like that. And then over here we have, you know, our condiments. We have like jellies, jellies and mayonnaise and ketchup. Gotta have the ketchup, lots of ketchup. So this is our refrigerator. Here is our cabinet with some food in it. Mostly a lot of snacks, but even on the door, you'll see spices we have, different spices we have and use. I know a lot of people say America don't use a lot of spices, but we do. We use a lot of spices. So look, we have chili powders and salt. What are these? And then even, so we have a, our uncle who grows things and he makes, these are like even homemade spices. Chipotle that are made, ground mustard. Uh, what's up here? Sage. We have like the ground sage. We have thyme. So we have a lot of different, we do have a lot of chili uh, powders and things like that because we make a lot of chili. But even over here we have like more spices. Cumin, Italian spices. When we make Italian dishes, we have like a garlic salt and what is this more? Oh, black pepper. We have like a lot of sauces there and oils. Here's olive oils we use. Down here's a lot of baking things. So like flour, sugars and stuff like that. Then we have chips. Like we talked about, we eat potato chips and stuff like that. A lot of different snacks. Peanut butter. Cookies, that's for me. I love my cookies. <laughs> Here are cereals that we eat in the morning, like breakfast cereals we'll eat and pour it with our dry milk. foods. So up here you'll see like crackers. Crackers, we have like boxed noodles, make mac and cheese and all. We have beans. So see, we have some beans and and other things. So some of, so either when you bake like desserts, you can make it from flour, which I do a lot, but also that you can buy things like this, just easy things to make desserts. These are easy like noodles that you can just like kind of put in the microwave or quick on the stove. I buy a lot of these because the kids can make them easily. And then we have like canned foods. So canned foods like canned beans, you know, canned tomatoes, canned soups that you can eat. And then, like I said, we love our ketchup, so lots of ketchup. Oh, and here is a barbecue sauce. You see that? When we talked about grilling food outside in the summer, we, when you always grill, we put like barbecue sauce on the stuff we grill. And then we talked about like in Mexican food, so we can even buy things like salsa and things to put on our Mexican food. So. So, but I mean, we'll also make other meals like chili is a big American chili thing. Chili is a big thing. Soups in the, and stews people in like. In the winter. So it gets cold time. where we live. It snows. So we'll make a lot of chilies and warm dishes. In the summer. We people barbecue. like to barbecue. We have a grill outside. We barbecue chicken people and barbecue burgers ribs and, and hot steaks, dogs. And hot dogs, burgers, chicken. They grow vegetables out there. Mm -hmm. Corn on the cob. All kinds also, of stuff. So another person asked about what we eat. And they wanted me to separate it between vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes. Because in India, they have, like a lot of people are vegetarians. Here, yeah. not so much. So I can't even think of a vegetarian, a salad. <laughs> like we want to just eat with no, most well, of our meals have meat in it. Yeah. Things that we eat, 90% of the meals we eat have meat in it. Yeah. Here, a lot of the vegetarians try to make foods that taste just like meat, but they're not meat. They'll make dishes. They're posers. They'll, they'll sell it in the grocery stores like meat right. that is vegetarian meat made out of soy right. and stuff like that. But they're still trying to get the meat without eating the meat. Next question is from Ayush. Ayush? Mm. He had a lot of questions. So, uh -huh. all right, guys. So, what festivals do you celebrate? They only know of Christmas. Most we can start at the beginning of the year. First is okay. like New Year's. New Year's Day. Our New Year's Day, January 1st, uh, people celebrate from the day before New Year's Eve. 
That's and a at big midnight, party. right when right when it starts hits midnight, it's like woo, we got hats and woo and fireworks, blow fireworks up and people stuff are like that. firing off guns into the air. It gets a little crazy sometimes, yeah. but that's the first I think one. Maybe Easter is like the next big one. Like Easter, Easter. A lot of Christians in this country. A lot of Christians. So Easter so is Christian the day. Christian holidays are big. Like a few days, a couple of days before that is the day, suppose, you know, Jesus was died on the cross. Rose Christian. on the third day. And then on Easter is when he rose on, on, on that day. And, and spread good tidings and candy for all the children. And we celebrate it with like, it turned into like the Easter bunny comes. Right? Well, How did that even come? The Easter bunny comes. say the Easter bunny comes and they leave a yeah. basket full of like candies and like chocolate and treats and, and Di eggs. Guy Easter <laughs> eggs. You hide them in the yard for the kids to find. Mm -hmm. Then the next big holiday, actually, that you really celebrate, I would say, is like 4th of July, which is about to hit. American Independence it's Day. It's our Independence Day from Britain. When we um, signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776. And that, we just kind of get together, and it's the summer, so it's hot, and we... Barbecue. Barbecue with you friends, drink, family. You fire off more fi another fireworks. Another fireworks. We Americans like fireworks here. Americans love gunpowder. We love to blow stuff up. <laughs> you know do. that. So they have lots of fireworks. Halloween's a big, big, big one that people love. It's the it's October thirty first. They it's kind of a Mexican even right because isn't that the Day of the Dead is November? I don't know 1st. if that's the yeah you know, well the Day of the Dead November first is all all Saints all Day. Saints Day. So they say the day before is all Hallows Eve yeah. when the dead get a chance to prance well, around. But, so on Halloween. Uh, that night, the kids, well, even adults and everything, dress up in different costumes. Usually, they try to be scary costumes, but some dress up as princesses and Your all that kind of thing. Your favorite There's characters. Really no rhyme or reason. Go door to door that evening, door to door, knock on the door. The kids say trick or treat, mm -hmm. trick or treat, and then people give them candy. That's pretty much it. And then, yeah, then after that's Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Um, it's the last Thursday or the fourth. Thursday. Of isn't it? The, isn't that when like the the pilgrims landed at the U in America? Or oh, that's what they it's say. It's to celebrate the and and had a feast with the American Indians. Celebrate right. just a bountiful harvest. Mm -hmm. uh, good tidings with your neighbors. That you get together with your friends and family. It's really and a you day feast. you eat. It's a day you eat. Roast turkey. You eat all that. You eat turkey. The big meal. Mashed potatoes, ham. Cranberry sauce, stuffing, stuffing, gravy, lots of pies, lots of desserts. It's a day you just pick out and eat, really, mm -hmm. and hang out with like your family. And they watch football. And they watch football. American well, football. Yeah, American football. And then after that, really, is Christmas. So those are like the big ones, I would say, that yeah. we celebrate. And yeah. they know Christmas. <clears throat> U.S. children, when they turn to uh, to be an adult, they always leave the parents. Even when they get married, they leave. They leave, or or if they don't get married, they leave the parents and settle alone, like get their own place, right? Well, that's the hope. He said, "Why can't they just stay together, even with their wife and children, mm. and live like a joint family?" See, I don't know how kids are in your country, <laughs> but here they get very annoying. Kids in America are so spoiled. They have too much. They do very little. And even when you don't try to be that way, their friends are that way, mm -hmm. right? So like we moved into this neighborhood. Here's an example. We moved into this neighborhood and we thought we'd we'd have our kid work for an allowance. Like he'll get some money if he does some work around here. We'll pay it, like not much, right? We're yeah. like 10 bucks, 10 bucks, but you gotta work hard for it. You gotta go outside and cut the grass and do this. Like we gave him a list. Then he talks to a new friend that's a neighbor. Mm -hmm. And his friend gets $20, 20 dollars to put up the kitchen dishes. Just put them up. Not to even empty, clean them. To empty the dish. Water. What do is take it out and put the clean dishes up where to go. 20 bucks for that. What's that? Five minutes? $20. So, so even if you try to t teach, you know, hard work and stuff on your, with your kids. They're gonna see somebody they see else other people not working and like, hard, and that's what our and that's son what they're said. Expect. Well, they make that. I I'm not working for that little <coughs> ten dollars because it's hard work. It's he's out there some hours sweating, you know, for ten dollars for half the so amount. I think that's your reality. Parents push their kids out the house to live on their own, to teach them a lesson and make them grow We're up like and birds. see what real life is. We're like birds. You got to kick them out of the nest so they could fly on their own. Mm -hmm. The whole point of raising here, children is to be lazy. 
thing now, that if we see, like if we see adults now live with their parents, it's like, oh, they're kind of a loser. Right. That's what they that's what get, Americans really they, think for the most part. They're living <clears throat> with their parents, sponging off of them so they don't have to yeah. go out in the real world and work and, and be responsible and an adult. Right. Because I'm telling you, the kids are spoiled. Hey, when they, It's not like though <clears throat> we would just kick them out in the street, right? Right. We've even told our kids, like, you can stay here till you if you go through college, yeah. right? Like if you stay through like high school, which is 12th grade and then go to a, a college and stuff, you can stay here as long as number one, you're in college. Or if you're not going to college, you have to pay us rent. You're going to be paying rent. You're going to be doing chores and you're going to be living by our rules. So I think the point is we <laughs> would, I would totally like not care if the kids stayed till adults, even with their wife. But if they would respect the house, respect the rules and put in their fair share of the work. And they do. Well, I hope this helped answer your questions. A little bit. Till next time. Well, we'll have to probably come back so later and we promise the cooking things, right? You're going to have to find out. Find out. She's going to ask questions. What you guys maybe want to see American dishes prepared and cooked. We'll go through it for you. And then we'll eat it. And you can vicariously Til next time. wonder what it tastes like. Thank Bye, you. Bye, y'all.